Chicago. Loves you. Season two, we're re ready for it. September 23rd, everybody's mm -hmm. talking about it. <laughs> Are we going to get more of the same cookie or a little bit more? More drama, more attitude? Because you got a cult following. Whatever you do, Cookie does, <gasps> that's what oh, they do in it. Chicago. Well, Cookie, you know, she's going to stay Cookie. Um, but one thing you will definitely see is her fashion evolve. Oh, God, the stuff that she has. Is, this is Cookie. And who is this that this you're wearing is today? This 2016. So we're very ahead of the cur um, fashion curve. You know, we have these amazing designers throwing clothes at us. So you can throw some my way for free. I, you <laughs> Who's your favorite, one of your favorite designers? I, you know, I, it's not even that I have a favorite. Well, I can't lie, Chanel. I collect, I collect Chanel. And uh, Chanel and Beaumont, I, I have a lot of Beaumont jackets. Okay. <laughs> and shoes. And lots of shoes. So what's your favorite part of this fashion thing? Because a lot of women love you in the hats, mm -hmm. love you in leather, and they think so much of what you're doing is all vintage, old stuff. But you're coming out, like you said, this is new stuff. Yeah. Um, I love that I get to play. What woman doesn't want to play dress up? Like, if I dress like Cookie in real life, I'd be broke. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Yes. I honestly yes. would go broke. So it's fun to, to be able to to live that part of my life and, and keep my money. <laughs> Let me ask you this, are we, while we're talking about Cookie and this, this following that you have, we have a group of women here mm -hmm. called the Cookies. They get together every I week and watch you, guys. you yes. and watch you, and they want to do and wear what you wear, say what you say, do what you do. Do you, what do you say to critics though who say that you are looked at as this angry black woman on television? I tell them to stop judging, because um, obviously the majority of the people get who this woman is. Um, and maybe she reminds them of themselves a little bit, you know, or that part of themselves that they think is not good. Um, I think Cookie is amazing. She is the American dream. She had nothing. She had three boys. She was living in a poverty, a, a cycle of poverty. And did she come out, you know, the proper way? No. But she did the best she could, and she broke a cycle of poverty, and her sons will not be statistics. And what's to hate about that? She may not speak politically correct, but kudos to her, because PC is BS, you know? So I don't know why you wouldn't like her. And I think that's why so many <laughs> women love you, because yeah. you are showing that side of a woman, yeah. black woman, that's educated, that's nurturing, mm -hmm. that's that's caring. Is yeah. there is there going to be, are we going to see a softer side? Because oh, we saw a soft side of you yeah. in season one. Is there going to be a softer side, much more softer side of Cookie yeah, in season two? You will definitely see all sides of Cookie. but the, And I think you will see the gentler side when you, you always see her soft side when she's dealing with love matters, matters of the heart. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's Lucius, whether it's her boys, you know, or man that she's falling for. You know, so there's always those moments where you'll see her vulnerability. Yeah, absolutely. I have to, I have to keep that balance because if I just play her sassy and angry all the time, then then the people won't care. Is that work for you playing Cookie? Because we, we <laughs> see that, like you said, Cookie is all of this, she's a lot. all of this. She's she's a lot. She's a lot. Mm -hmm. Do what? Do are, do are we? Are we? Are we going to see more of that too? With Cookie in yeah. this in this character what, in this role because hair? because we love I mean Chicago loves you yeah everybody loves you <laughs> not everybody yeah. but um, most it's all most. good no yeah you'll definitely see her switch up her hair you know the hair will go along with the with the outfits you know it's all a look now you know Paolo who does costume and wardrobe he communicates with hair and makeup every day so they decide which hair is going to go with the outfit I'm just the Barbie doll I just sit there and they just put the clothes on me and that was the other thing I was going to ask you when we were talking about a little bit more of Cookie mm -hmm. we see you at the end of the show or in some of the trailers right now for season two where you're in prison waiting to see your man mm -hmm. what can you t t give us a little bit about what we can expect in season two between and that relationship between you and Lucius um, you'll just get to see more of what makes that relationship tick. <clears throat> I mean, you know, it's a very complex relationship, but aren't all relationships. So you'll really get to see um, some more of the layers pulled back 
on that relationship between the two of them. That's work though, but don't you think we love it because so many of us can identify with that kind of relationship yes. because we love him but we hate him. We want him but we don't want anybody else with him. I think he <laughs> says that line actually. Ugh. Yeah, Lucian says that I think. All right, and what do you see, what do you want people to know that goes on behind the scenes with Cookie, behind the behind scenes that goes on between the cast here? Good chemistry. You're the oh, matriarch God. of the family. Do you, are you pretty much like that behind the scenes um, as well? Do people come to you to solve their problems to today? Uh, uh, I don't know if they come to me to solve their problems because <laughs> I got a lot of problems of my own. But um, <laughs> we're, we are very close, and, and I do, I check on, I check on my boys because, you know, you know, like Jim, Jesse and and and, and the, particularly uh, uh, Yaz Brashear, because he's so young and he's so new to the industry, and you know, getting all this money and this. So I'm always like, what you spending your money on? You buying property? You have art? You know? So I'm, you know, and I'm checking on their their mental health. I'm looking in their eyes to make sure nothing's getting to them. You know? Do you feel because you are that Oscar nominated, you? the seasoned actor on the set, and you've got so many new faces out there, new names. Mm -hmm. Do you feel a responsibility to kind of help them, pull them up, like you said well, about? I don't, I don't even go, I mean, before we even get to the, the titles and the, all of that, for me, it's just out of love for I, that I have for them. Um, for me, it's probably coming more from the place of being a mother, <laughs> you know? Um, and I care about these boys, you know? I, I love them, I shouldn't say boys, young young men, but they're my boys, they're my boys. <laughs> but, you know, I care about them a great deal. Um, I've met their mothers, you know? So I, in that sense, I feel a responsibility as a mother more so than a thespian actor. <laughs> good deal, good deal. What do you want to say to people in Chicago? You're always blowing up on social media, especially taking pictures of the snowy days when you got to get out in it. You love our city, don't you? I do, except for when it snows. <laughs> Thank you, Taraji. Thank you. Thank you so much, appreciate Thank that. You. Quick pics and that's it. Oh, cool, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming out and letting us, inviting us onto the set for these of interviews. Course. Of course. Everybody's excited here in Chicago about season two of Empire. But one thing I can't get out of my head, drip, drop, <laughs> drip, 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 drop. And the beautiful song. Which one is your favorite? Seriously. I, people ask me that before. I don't, they're both catchy. Oh, for different reasons, you know? Because, like, I will say, like, your so beautiful lyrics are so amazing, but then, like... And empowering. But then I'll walk away from this interview going, drip, drop, drip, drip. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and what about you, Rhonda? What's... what's because it's so much, of course, Empire's all about music. It's all about, you know, the hip-hop scene and good stuff like that. But what's your favorite song out of this? And, and, and tell me, too, how excited are you about season two kicking off? I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see the first episode. I can't wait for everyone else to see it. And I honestly can't wait for my favorite song, which is something that V, do you remember she was on? Oh, my She's gosh. the bald, yes. dark-skinned, yes. yes. beautiful girl. She is on this season and sings a song in the first episode that's is Amazing. I have on repeat on my literally on my iPod. So good. Well, is it like a party on the set like every day because of because <laughs> of the good music, because of what's going on, and the chemistry that you all have? Yeah, I mean we also are on set 14 hours a day, so everybody's a little like, hello. <laughs> but for sure, it's like an awesome. I mean, last night there were strippers here, so <laughs> I had to go watch all that happening. Oh, did you really? That. Of course. <laughs> So, like, yeah, there's days that I'll come into work that I'm not even working just because I want to see what's going on and, like, yeah. watch the performances, see who the guest stars are. Yeah, it's totally fun. So you guys have been shooting. You've been filming. You've talked about earlier episodes 5 and 10 being your favorites. Is What's the one thing you want people to know about that we really won't see, but what goes on behind the scenes that you can share with us on camera? What What do you mean? Like, for the, my the character? Tidbits, your or, character, what do you eat? What do you, the things that you like to do while you're not on camera being shot? Things that go on behind the scenes. Oh my behind, gosh. Behind we the all scenes. eat skinny pop all day long and fight over skinny pop. Skinny pop. Skinny yes. pop. Gummy bears. We all fight gummy over bears. Um, Taraji and I share gummy bears all the time. Yes. Yes. Your favorite color? Flavor? White. The white one. my favorite. Those pineapple. Are bland. Those are pineapple. No. Oh, is it pineapple? I, yeah, they're the best. Those are See? bland. Now let's talk about where we left off. Season one, like we said just a couple of minutes ago, blood on your hands. Yes. What's going on with your character this season? Um, she's really trying to keep her husband at bay because he feels really guilty and he's like his own mental illness. She wants to make sure that he's not going to go crazy again because now they're pregnant. So 
you know, that's an even more of an incentive to keep this family together. So I think her main focus is making sure that Andre doesn't, his guilt doesn't get the best of him and end up back in the mental hospital. So they are telling their family about the pregnancy and that's, you know, got everyone super excited, but he also has the guilt of this murder on his hands that he's having a hard time dealing with. And let me ask you this too, Rhonda, while we have the camera on you, you are all about animal rights and protecting animals and, yes. and shelters, getting them all taken care of. But talking about bipolar and mental illness, is yes. that something that I know it's part of this, the, the show? Yeah. But do you feel like that's an important message to get out there to start a conversation? Because a lot of people don't want to talk about mm. mental illness, especially in some communities, yeah. some minority communities. Totally. And I grew up in, my mom's a social worker, so like it was like never not talked about. It was always like, what personal alley disorder do you think this person has? And my mom's like, I think she might be borderline. Like literally like there are so many and like people don't understand. Like they're like, she's crazy. She's this, she's that. And it's like, actually maybe she needs to go to therapy and she actually might need to get on some medication. And it's not nothing to be embarrassed about. It's nothing that's wrong with anybody. It's literally chemicals in the brain that people should acknowledge because there's a way to better your life. And if we have that conversation going on Empire, that's awesome. It's especially for the black community because it's talked about less. Exactly. And we'd like to, I mean, a lot of people think in the black community, just pray about it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or fight about it in some episodes. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What are your that's thoughts right. on this and what you guys yeah. are doing? The messages that you're sending, because you do walk up to the line a lot of times on yeah. the show with the themes of whether you're talking about by, um, uh, mental illness, whether you're talking about President Obama, the mm -hmm. comments made on that mm -hmm. and the controversy that that sparked. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts on, on how you guys, I mean, you're yeah. actors, but you, you're sending out some powerful messages and starting up some conversations. Yeah, and I think that we we are in a social media kind of world, and I think that we have a responsibility to, as we're talking about these issues, to continue to highlight them and bring it bring it to the forefront mm -hmm. so that people can have the discussions about them. I think that what I what I don't want is for us to get caught into just the hype of what Empire is. Yes, there are the fights. Yeah, there are the insults and on and on. All that kind of stuff is fun, but I don't ever want people to overshadow all of that with what it is we're really saying and the topics that we're really talking. About. So I'm really glad that you're even bringing this up because I really feel that that's way more important than the cat fights that happen, you know, even though as they're really entertaining, but there's so many more messages that we have and we're, we're even talking about homophobia in, in different communities and we're talking about sibling rivalry and child abuse and there's so many things well, that we do discuss and on I the show. And I was saying one of the issues that you stand up for, bullying. Uh, absolutely. And that goes on on the show and you, sure. I mean, while you try, you and Taraji and some of the other characters try to get along, it gets too. It turns mm -hmm. into a cat fight. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I've partnered with um, Saving Our Daughters, which is a really great organization. Mm -hmm. And I just it, when when I was working with them, and as I continued to research, I realized that seventy five percent of of girls primarily are bullied when they're in, in their younger ages. And it's just terrible because a lot of what happens in your childhood and your adolescent stages, you carry with you throughout your adulthood. Mm -hmm. And so it's really, really important to not only empower young people to, 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 to use the tools that they have with their own originality and their own uniqueness to overcome things like that, but also to know who you are. So having said that, then how did you feel because the cat fight between you and Taraji most watch episode. That was the I know, right I know, there. I know. And it's not to downplay the entertainment, but it's also to uplift the messages and the topics that we are talking about that not a lot of people want to discuss. Right. And I love how you said too, it wasn't until you got out there and really started doing you being Grace right. put a face to Anika. Mm -hmm. Right. That people started to embrace you a little bit more and not hate mm -hmm. you because you were, you know, Right. Okay. Uh, right, right, right. And I, and I think that what we do, even as actors, I mean, it's a lot of who we are, but it's not the definition of who we are. Because if something were to happen tomorrow to us, and we were never act again, but we have 50 more years to live, what would we do? Yeah. Who would we be? Yeah. And so I think it's very important to, even though embrace what we do as an art, not completely be defined by it, because there's so much more that we fight for. Like, like you said, Katie fights for animal rights and so much more, and then I'm for anti-bullying and so much more. And so I think that those things are good to use your forum for. Are you guys? I are think you guys also this happens because we're on a soap. I mean, that's yeah. It's if we were in a movie or even on exactly. other shows, this wouldn't happen as much. But it's yeah. like because it's a soap and everybody waits every week, and you're in their home, yeah. they're like, you are Boo Boo Kitty. Yeah, it's I like, know you. I know you. We're friends. Do people yeah. come up to yeah. you like that and say, hey? What's up, Boo Boo I, Kitty? I have a couple of people who Boo Boo Kitty me, and I actually really welcome those circumstances because it gives me an, in, uh, a moment to introduce myself to them and say, hi, I'm Grace. Good deal, good deal. You know? and, and what about you, Katie? Are you just, you're the white girl on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get it? Uh, no, I don't think they would say it. They're probably thinking.
thinking it, and I'm yeah. like, yes, I'm the white girl. Yeah, okay. um, but no, I just, I welcome it all. I don't, you know, I think that part of the, the fan base is, you know, why we're the so investing. successful. Exactly. Yeah. So I always stop, and I'm always appreciative of, you know, them them coming up because it lets you them it lets you know that, that they're, they're watching. Yeah. yeah right so are you guys surprised at you know you've been out there a while on your yeah. grind as actors yeah um, are you surprised at the success of Empire and your you being a part of this or is this nah this is supposed to happen I saw the script and this is the way it's supposed to be no I it, it overwhelms me for sure I mean even though when I read it I was totally like yes this I would love to be a part of this and when I got the opportunity to be a part of it I was extremely grateful very excited but even now as all of this is happening I'm still very overwhelmed and still very humbled and honored by it all yeah, I thought, you know, when I read the script and then I, I was testing with um, Trey Byers and I was leaving and Danny Strong said to me, well, you know that Timbaland's doing the music? And I was like, no, I didn't. And I remember walking to my car and literally like going like this. <laughs> yeah. In the parking lot at Fox because like I've been doing this and testing for pilots for 12 years. So like my first test was Spike Lee and I, I was in the same office that I was testing for this. And then the last test that I had in that same office I got fired from that show which is totally normal. Every actor gets fired in their career. But it's like a million things can happen and so for all of that to culminate in you know why am I the Rhonda? There's no real reason. There's a million women that could have played any of our role, you know, roles. So for us to be in this position is like, it's humbling. Wow. Yeah, you know, really what is. are the odds? And are you blown away at how many stars you guys are going to be working with? I mean, you're a star, of course, but oh. how many of them are calling and wanting to be a part of Empire because it's, it's an explosion. It's surreal. Yeah. Yeah. It is surreal. Yeah. yeah. For sure. It's been fun, you know, I think everybody yeah. wants to be a part of it because it's so, it's flashy and fun and like, you know, people talk about it on social media, so like everybody's watching it and Jesse told me recently that like Rihanna has come up to him three times like, I am obsessed by your show, I am so obsessed Is by that it. your accent? Is that your Bajan accent? <laughs> no, I can do that one on my accent. <laughs> I am obsessed with you. Who it? I, she barely, hers is not that Hers strong. is super strong. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. <laughs> What did you do? Anyway, what did you do, Rihanna? I, I'm not Bajan, not so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> but anyway, I'm like, oh my God, Rihanna watches this That is show? epic. Everybody watches, okay? Epic. You guys, thank you so much. Continue. <laughs>